lightning moment was a, a drill hole that uh, we drilled uh, about a kilometer and a half, half south of uh, Red Hill. It was a drill hole that was, had, had dual purpose. It was, a, it was primarily actually a, a water well, but we were extending it deeper to test the target horizon. And Mark brought in the chips from that uh, RC hole. He opened up the boxes with a gr grin on his face and we looked at him and, and you know, I, I had the chills run down my back and my neck and, and I knew that uh, there was potential. And as we did more and more work, the results started coming through. I just remember that sense of uh, euphoria and excitement. I couldn't wait to get to work. I couldn't wait to see what the next bunch of assays were. It was just tremendously exciting. Rob Kritschmarov and Kevin Creel of Barrack Gold are talking about the gold rush discovery. A Carlin-type deposit in the Cortez Mining District in Nevada. The district has a long exploration history, starting with the search for silver in the 1860s. The area has since become known for Carlin-type gold deposits, which are extremely hard to find. Some of the biggest uh, Carlin deposits that have been found in the last two decades have all been concealed, so they don't actually crop out at surface. You wouldn't be able to find them by traditional prospecting methods. It's a lot, lot of detective work and very subtle features. The modern exploration for Carlin-type deposits uh, it relies on a combination of a, a very strong geologic foundation where we look at the stratigraphic uh, host rocks in great detail and uh, describe them in, in painstaking detail. Perseverance was the key to the exploration team at Barrack finding the Gold Rush deposit, the first major deposit found in the Cortez district in over a decade. A team of more than 25 people were involved in the discovery. And it really is a, a collaborative um, group, but people that are smart, they've looked at lots of rocks, they work well together, they know each other, they respect each other. I think the discovery of Gold Rush, it was really uh, several decades in the making. People were able to use uh, data and uh, information that they gleaned from uh, the mining of some of the other open pits, like Horse Canyon, like uh, the Pipeline Deposit, and subsequently Cortez Hills understood what the controls were there and were able to apply it to the district in general. Mark Bradley went back and relogged all the historic uh, drill holes, the deeper historic drill holes, and really put together the story from all those generations of drilling and uh, identified uh, both the structural and stratigraphic uh, controls and, and really built up the confidence in the geologic foundations. They've had many successes over the time and the reason is is because they have a strong exploration team, they have the right people, the right systems, the right tools, and the right support, all the way up through to senior management. It's that kind of culture that ensures exploration success. So the uh, Gold Rush system uh, drilled to date uh, extends uh, about six kilometers north to south. And uh, if you look around the region, that's, uh, that's an anomalous length of mineralization. I am really pleased that Barrick's Nevada Exploration Team has been awarded the Thayer Lindsley Award. The discoveries made by this team are an excellent example of what consistent funding to science and exploration can mean. We started with three and a half million ounces and that's when we announced a discovery. That's when we, we just knew we were onto something. We doubled that to seven million ounces and then one year later we doubled that again to 14.1 million ounces of combined measured indicated and inferred resources. The project is now transitioning into a feasibility study that will be completed in the first half of 2015. 